Yo, what's up guys? We got Bridget and RG Voorhees over here. I'm about to commentate for you guys. How's everybody doing? Uh, Alright, so we got a Ganon Nidos starting out. We got no Fluxes versus Generic. Generic? I don't know if MST is a sponsor, if that's just part of his tag or not. This girl. Alright, cool, cool. So, uh, neither so, players really want to come in here. Flux is kind of trapped in the corner. Ganon's going to have to rely on lots of platform movement, especially ooh. to get out of the corner. Ooh, and some down airs on the ledge. Yeah, typically people like this matchup. They like to watch it because, yeah. uh, you know, Gandorf, he's a big dude, big meaty guy with big meaty hits. At the very least, I think his, like, sounds are good. Yeah. When you get down air, literally, I've had this discussion with people. Anytime you hit anything with Gandorf, it just feels good and it sounds good. Yeah, I was like you're saying, lots of platform movement involved in this because Ganon, you know, not really fast. No. Going with the trail method, Flux here. Uh, he would go for the Eddie Spike, but like trail, he's just going for the back air because uh, the tip in or the Eddie the is Eddie. a little bit harder to actually connect with the right timing. And, uh, Battlefield's really hard for Ganon to actually hit a uh, attack. So as long as you're comfortable continuously back airing him, you don't have to worry about it. Yeah, I actually kind of like the back air a little bit because you know Ganon, like being how heavy he is, he can be kind of hard to kill if he gets back on stage. You're not really, you don't really want him to get to those high percents. Yeah. You might as well, if he's on the ledge, just keep him there. I thought he was gonna run off from there. That's it. That's it. No. See, he tries to go for it. Yeah. The back air's hitbox is better for making sure they end up off stage. Oh, there we go. Oh, nice say, yeah, cancel though. You definitely shouldn't. If you have the chance to hit with something else down there, it's not necessarily guaranteed because of the meteor cancel. Yeah, I've definitely seen how back air would be the best option. Uh, if you can do the up air, like the thing is, is if you can actually link the up air a couple times, it's a guaranteed kill, and you only have to manage it like twice, right? Yeah. The back air is easier to hit continuously, but you have to do it a lot. All right, so I play Captain Falcon, and I'm always saying something like, when you play that character, you don't want to listen to whatever Captain Falcon wants you to do. Captain Falcon wants you to run off and go for knees that shouldn't work. Right now, these two are listening to Ganondorf, and they're going for down airs they shouldn't because they're just Ganondorf mains, and they want to do that. Yeah, I mean, Bizarro Flames definitely definitely kind of popularized it for the Ganon players. Yeah, I'd say the biz style is a little bit more popular than the Kage one. Well, X Kage. Let's see quick. Yeah, the seal cancel there. Obviously, well, obviously they agreed to, uh, they didn't agree to no chain grabs. They yeah, didn't, they probably that's pretty, that's, that seems like a Ganon. One up air more and he dies, or that fourth hill. I think if you're playing Ganon, you're probably not playing this a chain grab. Yeah, but if you're at a tournament, you're here to win at the same time. Absolutely. Yeah. That was good. That was a good power shield. Uh, Ganon's forward air has a ton of shield stun. So, uh, and his jab comes out in, I think, what, three frames, three or four frames? It's pretty quick. So, ja uh, forward air to jab's pretty safe. Yeah, I was kind of consider that like one of the main, that's like one of the 101 like, Ganon tricks. You yeah. know, the quick, the quick forward air, cancel it, and then the jab. It's usually just like a quick, like, oh, catch him slipping. Yep. Oh, yeah, that was okay. Good. He might not make it. <laughs> he didn't even try to go for the ledge there. I think he was trying to pull back a little too much. A little bit. 
Alright, but dude, no fluxes is a. Uh, or, uh, actually, no, this is. Alright, yeah, Mistral is uh, a. So that right, right here, just sticking under him through there. One more and he's dead. You don't. Yeah. Okay. The downer's not guaranteed, so. I, okay, uh, Generic might lose his Gandor shirt after this. That was good. He's trying to go for the back air method. There's a jab, of course, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, if you're going for that, that, like, there's no reason to go for a down B at yeah. 40%. Mystical. Alright, Mystical Generic. I almost could we apologize for what's being shown right now. So loses game one, hits him with the fourth. Do I like that? I like that though. You know what? Let's go no fluxes. You lose that game one, you come back with a fourth stock. And after that game one, I actually saw generic pop off a little bit. He did a little fist bump. Yeah. That's a good way to stop that fist bump. The thing is, after he gets four stock, I'm not so sure generic is going to switch it up. He's wearing a purple Ganon t-shirt or just a regular Ganon t-shirt. I don't think he's switching. No. Definitely not. Alright, I think, uh, I don't know how I feel about this. I mean, I was kind of expecting either this or a Yoshi's pick. Yeah. I can definitely see how maybe if you are a little bit more confident in your platform movement, yeah. you'd like this. That's good. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, Flux is, Flux is playing a very uh, space visual oriented match right now. One more, he's dead. There we go. And like, see, like right there, that's only two hits and it's over. And after the first hit, the second up air is easier. But back, if you back aired him, you would have to hit him with like three more back airs, unless you oh, had okay, bad DI. Okay. But okay. the back airs are easier to link together. All right, so it's kind of just like a pick whatever you want. You want yeah. like possibly a better result or just here? Yeah, I used to do trail. Uh, I used to do Ganon Diddles a little bit with trail, and trail would back air me seven or eight times, when I would just up air him twice. And I guess a, another thing is, if you're the player who's behind and you're trying to figure something out. Maybe it's better to throw the back airs out because you get longer time to think. Yeah, I like that decision. And you a get lot. to hold your momentum and just kind of, kind of start playing in ahead. Yeah, I definitely think if you're behind too, you want that extra time. You kind of, you should be going for the guaranteed stuff. Right. I'm just like, I'm actually, I'm really impressed with no fluxes right now. Just like the adaptation from game one. I don't think it's good to be up there. No. Yeah, the platforms are a little jank for Ganon. He can, like, jab through that one right there at that height, and he gets forward tilt through it, obviously. But if he gets caught with his forward air, if he goes for forward air like he did, and he lands on that platform, he doesn't have jab to protect anymore because it hits way too high. He can't do it. So, like, Flux here, he's just sitting on the, sitting on the edge of the platform and trying to keep him trapped in the corner because now he's stuck on the platform. He, bat he literally battled out of the corner at the cost of being stuck on a platform. Mistral. Okay. All right, Mistral Esports. We're sorry. <laughs> Ooh, movement. Jab. And other other characters, like, you can afford to crotch cancel their jabs. It doesn't really do much for you here. Yeah, not really. Ooh, okay. I wasn't Double up. That. I wasn't expecting that. No, I'm going to say that was a flip. He had a chance to tech it. had a chance to, uh, to yeah, cancel. Definitely, I think maybe... Generic Galil have himself after that game. Well, I think he's definitely like, like Fluxus has been cleaning it up. Like his stage control, like even yeah. well, he lost right there. But his stage control, like just pushing Generic back into that corner. Was, right. It was good to see. And plus, we keep seeing these down moves. Yeah. yeah. No. Nice left shot. I like the purple bus as much as the next guy, but the Soul Train. The Soul Train. <laughs> oh, that's it. Oh, I thought he was gonna uh, him. Nice. Okay. He reacted to that. He had been throwing out jab a lot, so uh, he figured that generic was gonna roll. Yeah, yeah. And then like, I mean, he the dash deck didn't send him a too bad an angle either. He just like kept low. That's it. Oh, there we go. Good adaptation by Flux. Twenty-two. Shouts to Rick. <laughs> yeah, he uh, he was definitely going in a lot more in the first game, and I think he was just running into stuff. And uh, the second game, he just kind of waited it out. Yeah, I feel like Flux is just kind of like, yeah, Flux is was kind of picking up on that running in, and yeah, yeah, running in doesn't work too well, especially with, like Gandorf does have those disjoints with his forwarder. Like Gan's kind of good; he can keep Gandorf back. Fun fact: uh, the way hitboxes in this game work, 